inside the magic square? Well, if not, I'll teach you how. Welcome to my channel. Now, let us use these odd numbers 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, and 17 to the respective boxes. Make sure that you end up with the same sum horizontally, vertically, and diagonally. Okay, now let me put the first number either any of these rows. The first row, second row, third row. Okay, the number one is in the first row. The three is in the third row. The five is in the second row. The next is seven. Then 9, then 11, and then 13, and then 15. Lastly, we have the 17 in the last row. Now, let's check. Let us add 15 plus 1, 16, plus 11, 27. Next. 5 plus 9, 14. Plus 13, 27. 7 plus 17, 24. Plus 3, 27. So far, we have the same sum horizontally. How about the vertical sum? 11 plus 13 is 24. Plus 3, 27. 1 plus 9, 10 plus 17, 27. 15 plus 5, 20, and then 7, 27. Now, how about the diagonal sum of these numbers? 11 plus 9, 20, plus 7, it's 27. You have observed that in this process, we have started with the least number. How about if we have started or we start with the largest number, which is 17? Now, let me put these numbers respectively in decreasing order. First, 17 in the first row. 15. 13. 11, then 9, 7, and then 5, 3, and 1. And let us see if the sum changes. Okay, let's start with the 3 plus 17, 20, plus 7, 27. 13 plus 9, 22. Plus 5, 27. 11 plus 1, 12. Plus 15, 27. Those are horizontal. How about the vertical? Okay. 7 plus 5 is 12. Plus 15, 27. 17 plus 9, 26. Plus 1, 27. 3 plus 13, 16 plus 11, 27. Lastly, let us see the diagonal sum. 9 plus 7, 16 plus 11, 27. How did I get it? What do you think? Do you know that there's a pattern behind this? Once you know this pattern, you can solve this in just 3 seconds. You only have to familiarize the letters. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. Have you observed the letters? Still in sequence. 
You only have to follow these letters to end up with the same sum, regardless of this position. Vertical, horizontal, or diagonal. But, there are conditions in order to satisfy this concept. First, Make sure that all nine numbers should be in sequence. Second, regardless of the base numbers, base number where you have started, the difference together with the succeeding numbers should have the same difference. Should have the same difference. That's all for today. See you till my next trick.